thanks for joining me on Life Less Ordinary. In looking back through my uh, device, I realized that there were some videos that I had started uh, at the end of April on propagating some cuttings uh, of Leptospirum that didn't quite get finished uh, because my battery died on my phone and life has just uh, taken some uh, skewed turns uh, with COVID and illness in the family for the last couple of weeks. I'm going to play the video now that shows how we uh, propagated from uh, cuttings from our Leptospirum trees and then I'll show you what it actually looks like uh, now uh, at the towards the uh, end of, of May. So it's been about three weeks, three and a half weeks. So you'll see what the growth actually looked like, looks like. Uh, now that it's been uh, a bit of a time period. Today I'm going to show you how I propagate uh, some branches, some plants uh, from existing plants that I have. Uh, and the reason I am planning to do that or I'm going to do that today is because we have a number of Leptospirum over, he uh, over here. Uh, we also have more um, up towards the front, uh, yeah, so up towards the front there that are a lot bigger. We have tried to plant them along the fence line uh, in the past, probably more, you know, eight years ago, uh, but struggled to keep the water up to them. Uh, also, when you buy them, uh, you're looking at about 15 to 20, maybe even $25 per plant. Uh, uh, you could get root stock or smaller, sorry, tube stock, uh, which you know you may pay about five to five to eight dollars from a native nursery for something like that. But they are really, really small and they need protection. Um, again, it was something in the past that we had struggled to do. I feel a lot more motivated <laughs> now. However, there is the cost for buying them new. Uh, so we have a number of plants that are quite healthy. So we're going to take cuttings and propagate from that. So what, what uh, we do is have your clippers and you cut off a branch. So you can see we have this uh, branch here. I'm going to cut that off. Uh, and the, what we're going to propagate from is each of these little branches coming off. So as you can see, there are lots there and we're going to use each of these for propagating. So I'll cut that there and we will take that up and go to work propagating. So we've brought up our cuttings from down near the tree. So we have uh, some of the, some of it is the Manuka um, Leptospirum. This is a lemon scented one. Uh, so choosing what you want to propagate. So what we'll do is, is we actually want uh, the the cutting that we're going to take to be between five and seven seven, seven centimeters uh, long. So we take our five to seven centimetre amount and then we pull off two thirds of uh, the leaves that are there. So pinch off your two thirds of your leaves. So as you can see, two thirds of the leaves. And what we're going to do is just sort of scrape back so that some of the green, some of the inside green is exposed. Because this is quite thin, I'm just using my nail to do that. Uh, if it was a, um, a sturdier branch, you might do use a very sharp knife, but I'm just using my nail cut it back that will send sort of the 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 hormones to that tip um, where the plant is going oh I need to fix myself so we'll send some things there to help that to get fixed and this is where our roots hopefully will start 
What I've got here as well, what I'm going to be planting it in is uh, one of these trays with the lids on it. Um, you'll just have to excuse the noise in the background. Dean is working on our fire pit sort of further down the back over here. <laughs> um, grinding away at bricks to make our fire pit. So uh, we're going, uh, what I've got inside this tray is uh, seed and cutting mix. Um, there's a number of different varieties that you can get from the uh, hardware store. Rocky Point does some Osmocote, um, just whatever is available. Uh, so we have um, our cutting that I've scraped uh, some of the um, the wood back from from it exposing uh, the stem there. And what I will do with that is I will just place that into the soil. Okay, uh, and for me it has been as simple as that. So what I'll now do is show you the growth three weeks uh, from when I first propagated uh, both the lemon scented and the manuka tea tree um, cuttings. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so these are the lemon scented ones. Now so there's a, some that haven't grown in here. Uh, so I did plant uh, probably about 30 in here of the lemon scented. And then over here are the manuka ones. Uh, so this is just the uh, seed and cutting uh, mixed with a bit of vermiculite. And what I have been watering with, so watering periodically, uh, but also I have some diluted sea sol um, in in a bottle that I also use to give a, a bit more nutrients to that seed and cutting mix which will uh, which does run out of nutrients um, after not too long of a period so um, I, I what I will do is is um, I will actually let that grow for um, another couple of weeks and probably pot on as well now we're towards the, so we're about the 21st of May at the moment, and we're just starting to get frosts here in the Southern Highlands. Uh, this is where I have this, is uh, in an undercover area. Um, so if you can see, we have an undercover area and then the backyard down there. So I have it on a table in, in, in the undercover area. And as I'd said in the earlier video, um, I do place um, this cover over which does protect it particularly at night time and early mornings uh, from the colder temperatures uh, and um, it, I have found that this is working quite well so I'm looking forward to having around 40 uh, tea trees leptospirin that we will be able to plant eventually probably not until next year i will wait until they do get to a decent size uh, and i will be able to plant them along the fence line at various intervals up into don't mind our blankets there up into our front yard so there's the other tall lemon scented one and there's a smaller one next to it it's another one further up there so the idea is to create a screen on this side of our yard to give us a little bit more privacy. Um, maybe, depending upon how many I have, we actually do need to provide some privacy on the other side of our fence line because uh, there is a DA approved at council where the house next door is going to be knocked down and duplex built. Um, and as you can see down there, our lovely outlook now is a bit different to what it was before so providing privacy uh, and screening uh, using the leptospirin which can draw, grow to four or five meters um, is a way that we can handle that and also provide um, uh, pollination pollinating um, 
for our bees and other insects. So I hope this has been helpful, uh, even though it's been <laughs> three or four weeks in making, but I hope this has been helpful in seeing that you can quite easily propagate uh, from cuttings from trees. Thanks for joining me in our life less ordinary.